I think what a lot of people do is they, can, they tend to just do what everyone else is doing. They tend to focus on what is the fad at the moment, and there's consistent fads. You, know, you keep going out in the marketplace. So if you just look at what is on the internet, you're going to find tons and tons of stuff. People saying, this is the best, this is the best, this is the best. But in essence, all you've got to think about is where's your target market hanging out? That's where we've got to go and provide the value, and that's where the, where the, where the leads are going to be generated. We're trying to create a culture where people actually love to come to work, and we kind of have that moment. It's, it's really interesting. So we're only going to hire people that actually want to enjoy it. To create a successful business, what you need to do is, 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 is begin over time and compound yourself to that point where you're no longer um, involved in everything. It's a very hard thing to do for a business owner because it's their baby, but you have to do it. If you want to be anything, you have to do it. The whole point of the entrepreneur voice can be, be completely transparent with you guys know that the the whole world of entrepreneurship is glamorized to hell, right? That is so glamorized. Like you don't see any of the stuff that happens to them every single day. I have a saying that says, well, anything you want is a set of compounded decisions away. Um, so your job is to make the right decision in that moment and deal with it. And I thought, you know, let's make this, let's take this 10x and we leased an office and we have hired someone we thought you know what september 1st let's let's start blogging this and let's blog the whole thing and literally the first vlog as you probably know it was just me and jacob in here getting signs put up and everything and now it's like 24 weeks in or whatever and there's eight of us and we're all going out. like we're going to paris this weekend and we're full, and that's that's its own vlog coming out and it's just it's crazy it's great yeah. it's really cool and we, we always look back as well we always think wow it's it's so just reflection as well being so transparent, you're not just going to see all the good stuff, you're going to see all the bad stuff as well and you can learn from that and see how you dealt with it. We have the phrase, stop being a prospect pyromaniac, um, because people tend to just use marketing strategies that burn most of their leads. They get really happy when two out of 1,000 people sign up to their service when they realize that 998 of them can never be called again. Kodak, back in the day, were offered the chance to deal with the digital camera, that one of their guys, digital camera, you probably know the story. And, um, they didn't do it because they calculated that it would happen 15 years down the line um, and they forgot that the exponential compound sort of effect happens uh, to the power number not not an average yearly number and they missed out and they, they went bankrupt and so I think a lot of companies have got to be prepared and got to be thinking about what's happening with AI what's happening with machine learning deep learning what's happening with the data and just sort of think about what they need to do to prepare for that and how they can make use of it there's a massive way to come we've all got to ride on it otherwise a lot of people are going to end up down the hole. We do something called a 531, which is basically you, you, you think about your current year and then you go five years out. So you, you go five years out. We don't, even, we don't even say the word how, we just say what. And you go five years out, look at eight things. You know, for example, the, the business ones are like sales, marketing, profit, cash, assets, um, office space, team, facilities, that kind of stuff. Like, what do you want five years from now? Um, don't even say how, just say it, what you want. Um, and then 10x that and then you've got your five year goal um, and then we can come back to one year and then we can sort of plot what we need to do each year to be able to hit those kind of goals and it's super powerful.